everybody. As introduced to you last week, my name's Nicole. I'm the resident archaeologist here, and in this video, I'm going to introduce you to a little bit of the archaeology going on this week. I had originally intended this video to introduce you to the archaeology site, but due to today's rainy weather, we'll just take a walk out there, I'll show you the location, and then we'll go into a little bit of lab work that has to be done on rainy days here at Spring Hill. Guys, right, come with me, let's go take a look at the site. It's right on down this way. All right, so just walking to the site, you can see how close it is to the house. That's the main house there. And it's just on down this hill in the forest. So we're taking a walk. It's a beautiful fall day today. Now we've made it down to the spring house, just down the hill from the main house up there. You can see our little path to the site. And it's all closed up due to the rain. We've had some rain and some wind going on. So it might be a little bit damaged. I'm unsure so far. But you can see it covered up by that blue tarp. So even though it's covered up, you can see the area, it's got a lot of cobblestone rocks and things down this hill. You can especially see them right here in this area. And it's proximity to the spring house, which is that little mound over there. So this area we've determined from all of our digging is actually a dump from the mid 1800s onwards, I'd say maybe to the early 1900s. And then what we're finding here indicates they were throwing stuff down this hill right here. It's close to the house. It's a great location for people to not have to see and smell your garbage since they didn't have a garbage man back in the 1800s to come and pick up their trash. Where would you throw it? Would you throw it in the front yard? No, probably not. So you'd probably throw it somewhere like this area down the hill. All right, everybody, now that the sun is starting to peek out and I've shown you guys our site, let's go on inside. I'll show you what an archeologist does on a rainy day. There's a lot of things inside the lab that need to be done. And it's said about every hour of digging equates to about three to four hours of lab work, which is quite a lot. That includes things like washing, bagging, sorting, cataloging artifacts, and then preparing them for either storage or display. So um, our first step of that is going to be washing. So let's head on inside and I'll show you guys uh, that first step and what we do with those artifacts come on so here's our washing setup for today we've got some drying screens we've got our washing bin and the most handy dandy toothbrush super basic stuff here are our bags that come in from the field they're basic paper bags it's got the context information on it which is the most important part so we know where everything came from as well as the diggers initials and the date that they were excavated on. And as you can see here in these bags, we've got quite a few artifacts to go through today. So they'll be washed with that toothbrush, they'll sit there to dry, and then they'll look a little bit like this. Here are some washed artifacts. Take a look and see what you see. Anything interesting? You can leave it in the comments if you, if you recognize anything in this picture. And then once they dry, we'll go on to our next step. All right, so here is our artifact bag. We're gonna start washing today. I'll pull out the first find, super cool. Any guesses as to what this is? It is a base of a yellowware bowl. So we're talking late 1800s here. When cleaning, it's really important to get all the spots, including what we call the paste of the piece, which is this part right here. Studying that under a microscope can help to tell you where it was made, what stuff it was made with. So we're gonna go ahead and stick this in the water. And then I'm going to get my handy dandy toothbrush and I'm going to move this bag here out of the way. And here we're going to start washing. So you just scrub the whole thing. And like I said, make sure you scrub that paste because it's really dirty. Get all that off. See how it's starting to clear up and you can start to see the color of it right there. Awesome. So we're going to keep washing and then I will show you what the artifacts look like when they're drying. Okay, so here are some of our drying artifacts. You can see how just how dirty they were. That is not chocolate milk. And here is some animal bones. You've got, not human, I promise. You've got uh, lots of pottery in here. We've got a really good selection. So you can see lots of different pieces. This is just a small portion of this single context. We have four bags of it. Now that these artifacts are nice and clean, they're going to go on to the next couple steps, which you'll see a different week on Archaeology Wednesday. Stay tuned for next week and maybe you'll get to see a little bit of our open dig site.